Hey bread lovers and how are you all doing? Today we embark on chapter 2 on the main storyline for fantasy life. Alright, a lot of things have happened in chapter 1, so let's break down things that have happened. So in act 1 we met the gods that made us do useless tasks and made us a god's envoy as they're lazy. Hmm. Act 2, the gods gave us a task to go to get concert tickets for their favourite idol Snow. While helping out Snow we learned, see is it old? She is from an old clan that served the goddess of her area, and she gave us one ticket in help for helping her. Act 3, we were on the hunt for the white dragon. While searching for him, we ran into our f old friends, Butch and Priet. They haven't changed at all, to be honest. We were also introduced to a very angry man, Glenn. But he's a very nice person deep down. He also even threatened the gods if they were hurt mankind in any way. Act 4, we finally found Pico. And Pico informs us on what has been happening. As the Chaos Dragon is slowly starting to wake up from its long slumber. Last time the dragon woke up, it took a lot to put him back to sleep. Act 5, the next day Pico runs off and leaves us a letter. As someone from the royal family has gone missing, we find a mysterious black boy after defeating black monsters along the way. We also, and we go inside to find a huge black carroty monster. After defeating the black carroty, it transforms into Princess Laura, who was missing. Um, chapter 2, Princess Laura joins a party in preventing the Chaos Dragon from destroying this world and tells us about the Heroes of Light. Now it's our task to go and find out more about these Heroes of Light to prevent the Chaos Dragon from awakening. So first off, the Legend and Hero. After returning to Namona, Lara seems to have found some clues to the Heroes. Lara's back, let's talk to her, are we? The Legend and Hero. Back again. Welcome back, Lara. I found an interesting book in the Palace Library. The Palace Library? It tells a story about three heroes in Ravania. A long time ago, four people saved the world. Then anyone who inherited their power become known as a hero. Four? I, I thought there were only three of them. Apparently, there were pronounced heroes and one went missing. Pico. Does the book mention how to find the heroes? Hmm, it mentions a prophecy about the awakening of one of the heroes. <laughs> it's a process that still continues in Castel. Here, look. The light of the Hanaway Shrine awakens the hero. Hmm, the light of the Hanaway Shrine? What is Hanaway? There's a place called Hanaway Cave on the outskirts of Castiel. Something's fishy might be going on there. Hanaway Cave. Sounds like the place to look for clues about the heroes. Hmm. Oh, and Laura, you can really enter and leave the palace, right? That's pretty cool. Oh, did I forget to mention I'm the princess of the Castiel? Wow, the princess? That is so cool. What? The princess? Your Highness, are you sure it's okay for you to be here alone? Don't call me Highness, just call me Lara. <laughs> like you usually do. Love her smug face there too. It's boring to be cooped up in a palace. Besides, I can't sit back and do nothing when the world is falling apart. Let's go back. Let's go find the heroes together. Thanks, Lara. That's re reassuring to hear. Yippee <laughs> It's decided then. You are Leon, Pico, and Goose. We're going to the Hanaway Cave. Wah! Main Story Chapter 2 Seeking the Hero Legend and Hero Cleared King Goose, this is the Hanaway Cave, so this is what it looks like from the inside. Since it's called Hanawa Caves, there must be a few Hanawa around. Not a few, but a whole swarm of them. A whole swarm? Pika? Hmm. But seriously, the monster species known as Hanaway live here. We gotta be very careful, and don't forget, we're here to search for clues about the heroes. 
Yes, but of course, I didn't forget. The inhabitants of the cave might know something. I need to hide my identity from the paladins here. Right, how about calling me the Red Hood? Okay, let's go. Gotta keep digging for my dreams. Gotta keep digging and digging. <laughs> I think there's someone over there. Let's go take a look. Excuse me, hello there. Oh, it's you from before. Thanks again for your help back there. Now I can mine in the grassy plains without worries. Don't mention it. I'm glad you could. I could help. Sorry to interrupt your work, but do you happen to know anything about the heroes of this cave? Ah, heroes, you say? That's a very old legend. Do you know anything about it? Yes, it's a famous legend among the miners in Hanaway Caves. Crisis befells the world, and this cave too, when that day comes. From the Hanaway altar, the heroes rise with light to save us all. Heroes, the Hanaway altar? A famous legend among the miners? And that's all the information there is, not much to go on. Late, lately, the cobalt frogs have become restless, and they're getting in the way of our mining. Monsters going berserk, that's something to take note of. A little investigation is in order. I can handle these few Hanaway on my own. Yeah. Alright. More! Wait, 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 wait. There's too many of them! Ah. Oh, come on, I'm a paladin for goodness sakes. I'll be fine. I can do this. Yeah, okay. Here goes. Whew. Where did they go? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I'm a paladin responsible for guarding this cave. Wait, have I seen you somewhere? I think you're mistaken. You look flustered. What's wrong? Who, oh, by the way, lately there's a rumor that the cave dwelling Hanaway have grown in numbers, and that's quite a problem. Let's keep an eye on the Hanaway clan ahead. Their numbers have grown? Yeah, there's literally a swarm of them. Ha <laughs> little face. And to make things worse, the princess disappeared. Call disappearance caused quite quite a disturbance in the city. Uh, something's wrong. We should go look into it. Silly princess. Ooh. My first my enemies. There you go, Mr. Paladin. Eh? Did you guys run into Hanaway? King Goose, uh, uh, I mean, the Red Hood took care of him. Just like that? Really? <laughs> nah. <laughs> anyway, the Hanaway are more aggressive than what the rumors in the palace says. The palace? Uh oh. Keep it cool. Never mind. Anyway, you really did me a solid. I'm not sure if I can handle them on my own. Keep up the good work, soldier. Thank you. You guys stay safe. Not sure what we did. We got some frogs to kill. The cobalt frogs are going berserk. Oh, welcome back. How did it go? Took care of them all, of course. Oh, thank you. Now we can focus on our mining. Wonderful. I see you still determined to find the heroes. Yeah, we have to find them. Well, since you guys helped me out twice, I'll be remit if I didn't return the favor. I'll go to gather information about the heroes of Hanaway Cave. Be sure to come back later. Really? Thank you so much. Ah. Oh, wait. You asked everyone in the cave, right? I wish I could learn something about the legend from the miners. All the monsters in the cave seem to have gone berserk. Yeah, that worries me too. We'll check it out with him again the next time we come back. Right, Let we'll keep following the issues while we investigate. Oh yeah, let's take it slow. Alright, let's head back to Namona and report to the goddess statue.
the residents of the Hanoite Cave. Hey, and there is our first adventure into chapter 2 for the main storyline for Fantasy Life Online. Next episode, we continue our investigation into the Heroes of Light with Laura. And our friend Daniel informs us he has found something glowing while digging. So we go check it out. While searching, we run into our scaredy cat friend, the Paladin, who was expecting us. I hope you like the recap for chapter 1 and like the start of chapter 2. Lots of things happen in this chapter as things really start to kick up with the dark corruption. Remember to boop that like button on your way out full of bread and subscribe if you haven't already if you want more fantasy life content. It's free. All right, bread lovers, I'll see you in the next one. Goose out. Wah.